kids gather around. A long, long, long time ago, a being named Yahweh, who knew everything, decided to create one of the most incompetent things ever. He developed a plan destined to fail from the very first chapter of Genesis. And then when it failed, he got angry because, of course, someone who knows everything past, present, and future would get surprised. Then he wouldn't just punish the imperfect creatures who were acting imperfectly. He decided to punish the billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of people who came later. You know, the ones who were created through incest, you know, whenever the kids had sex with mom to make the other people. What a beautiful story. And then everybody was drowned, but that didn't work out. And then there were wars and there was genocide and slavery and rape and all these other things. Human sacrifice, the execution of children, your age, because you were so disobedient. And God said, well, shit, that didn't work out. But kids, God had yet another solution. And this time he wasn't going to fuck up. He decided to rescue humankind. I will impregnate an unwed teenager with myself via ghost sex. And I will do it in a time when unwed teenagers were pariahs in their community. Do you know what a pariah is? A pariah is an outcast, someone who is named and blamed and shamed for being immoral or outside the norm. And that's what God's mother should be, an unwed teenager named and blamed and shamed by her community. Of course, Joseph would kind of be the husband and sort of be the dad, but not really. And then the baby would be born in a manger or in a stable or in the basement of a, a poor person's house and there would be wise men or magi i can't really remember and then they would go back and there was a census but there wasn't you know what a census is never mind kids it's boring you don't care and then there was a guy named herod who killed babies kill 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 little infant babies beautiful story except that the other book of the bible doesn't talk about him so maybe it didn't happen anyway try to put baby killing out of your mind here's the christ child Ah, angels, light, a big star, a star, big enough, large enough, bigger than the sun, which would have incinerated the whole planet, but somehow didn't. In fact, it was tiny enough to follow people around the planet. What a miracle. And then this baby Jesus disappeared from the record for 30 years. No one gave a shit about what he was doing. Was he just hanging around Mary's house? Was he watching TiVo? Was he making furniture and stuff? Because, you know, he was a carpenter. Was he playing hacky sack with all of his non-deity buddies of the same age? We don't know. It's all a big three-decade mystery. And then God showed up in human form. And he did three years of unverifiable miracles in a tiny, 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 tiny place on planet Earth, right? With all of the other life on Earth. No, no, Jesus was going to focus on this tiny little blip on the planet. Well, before 1400 years before the invention of the printing press, in fact, it wouldn't be documented until decades later, a generation later, by authors whose identities have never once been proven. It's beautiful. And the reason this Christ child came to us is so that he could save us from the torture chamber that he himself made and threatened us with. And his solution for that salvation would be to have himself turned into a bloody meat pinata. So then the corpse could be thrown in behind some rocks. His spirit could go visit heaven and hell. After three days, he would return and say, psych, look at the holes. And then he would float up into heaven and become hide-and-seek champion of the universe for 2,000 years. And this deity would be so effective in sharing his message that two-thirds of the planet would believe in another god or no god at all. 
Thanks for listening, kids. And Merry Christmas. Thank you.